YouTube channel Satish Career Academy guys. Guys, in today's my college life, there is innovative expo. So, you can see innovative expo. And then, then we will clear that we can explain this. And one of the projects that we can clear explain this, we can do this. So, we don't need to skip this. And guys, it is it complete. Guys, today, all the choices we clear that are about today. So, we will go to our YouTube channel first. Please just catch that subscribe this code. And pack up the bell icon for the next day. We can add videos. All the other guys are trying to start out. So, if you want to watch this, check out the video. Let's start it, guys. Let's get it on. जनरल का एविएशन और एयरोप्लेन्स वाले का तो उन एयरोप्लेन्स देखकर देखकर उन लगाने को एयरोप्लेन छुपे इधर ना ऑब्जेक्ट देखकर कुछ लगाने डिटेक्ट जैसी कर मंजूर कर सकते हो तो ये इधर देखकर लोग ये कर रहा है ऑब्जेक्ट अड्डो चले तो ये कर रहा है ऑब्जेक्ट अड्डो चले जो भी सम ये मान जनरल तो मानो मुकदमा मानो गाइस ना कोर्ट पे करा हुआ है तो 40 सेंटीमीटर्स वर्क को ये भी सेंसियस कोर्ट तो देख एट वन से 180 डिग्री वर्क के दूर होता है और इनका फ्यूचर लेट कॉल एंड डेवलप जिस पहुंचो 360 डिग्री दिख पहुंचो वो कैमरे तो अच्छे कैमरे तो नहीं पड़े जनरल के डोसन ज़्यादा तो � so here there will be two. This is a web page where employee can apply for leave. So there is employee login or admin login. Here if the employee want to apply here leave, he can apply here leave. This is medical type. From where and to date and right of some discussion, so he can apply here. Admin can see the admin can see and he will accept it or not. He will reject and he will approve the leave also here. So suppose suppose he is waiting for approval, so he can. Here approve the leave. Take action and here you can approve and you can write some description and submit. So it will it will goes to the user like approve. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Bharat and uh, I started to Akshara. Today my project is uh, about students' smart management system. So this is our website. This is the home page of our website. Now we click in the login session. We will get three sections. One is of HRD login, student and the teacher login. So, let's deal with the student login first. In the student login, in the name of user ID, we need to give the role number. For example, I am giving the role number as seven. And there is a password. We need to enter. And when we enter the password, it is directing to the page where we need to fill the details. Yeah. Now I have successfully filled my details. It is directing to the page where we are having the list of exams. So in our college we are having these exams. Unit 1, 2, mid 1, 3, 4 and 2. So when we click on the unit 1, I am getting the rule number 7 marks of uh, each and every subject. So basically the student login will be given to the each and every student individually. In the section of teacher login, we will be entering the subject in the same repeats. Yeah. Now we have entered into the ML login session. So we are having the all the details of the students of ML marks. Now when we click edit, he can edit the marks here and update here so that it will reflect the database. So in the digital login they can edit only their section. I mean their subject. In the HOD. Yeah. So in the HOD login, we are having all the subject details of respective students and they can edit each and every subject. Since it is HOD, they can access every subject and uh, in the teacher login, they can access only their respective subject. Yeah. And this is my project. Finally taking video. Our project is about hand gesture volume control. So the objective of our project is to develop an interface which will capture human and hand gesture dynamically and it will control the volume level. And the software requirements for our project are 
uh, in our program we used the modules called tkinter pil and image image tk using this the output will be in the form of document which will be popped up here so this is our output people who are crossing the line this is the grace time we gave to the traffic system and uh, people uh, the, these people are crossing the line so that's why they are captured in our video My name is Nitin Tina Project, based in an patient management system. In a hospital, there is a lot of patient information. There is a lot of accuracy. There are a lot of details. There is a lot of details. So, in the end, a patient information is in a waiting list. There is a lot of details. Then, after that, the patient is like a doctor ki asen jes kawali the last patient information ane di a doctor ki apan jes mana was choose jes kontaro so ikara vere wadi ki dinge difference ane ande they can know their medic medication asli in this kurt nara sa a type this kurt nara endu this kurt nara ane prathyo kadi dels kawacho wala ki a nurse ane di apan jes aro a room number ane di doctor gurin chugora wala ki dels kosh like oka doctor ane nara anko wado लाइक एक आप पेशेंट पाता हिस्ट्री आनता एक अंदर इन चर्चा डो एंजेस है रे वाली जीन लो ये मन्ना लाइक डिसीज़ेस का नहीं था नॉन नया सो वाली दिन प्रत्येक अंदर ट्रैक जेस कोच मान दिन तोटे वाली ए प्रोसीजर ने इन चर्चा डो लाइक अगर डॉक्टर ने दी वाली एंजेस अदन कॉस्ट सिस्टम्स का नहीं प्रत्येक � प्रत्येक का डिटेल्स चलिस थे ना निगुरेंची ये लाइक एम बेडिसन सर्विस कर चाहिए आले प्रत्येक का डिटेल्स चलिस थे ना तो टाइम सेविंग कंसेंट्रेशन प्रत्येक का डिटेल्स कर दिंगला इजी है उसमें आफ्टर सक्सेसफुली कंपाइलिंग एंड रनिंग we will get an interface like this then we have to enter our roll number and then our name this process takes while only registering then we will get some images after successfully taking some images then we have to train images training images will take some time after successfully training the images we will get the attendance automatically that's it Intro rate is a rate which calculates the data set by taking the inputs from the users. Generally, digital marketers use online advertisements such as Instagram, Facebook and websites. In order to know how well our ad is performing in internet, we perform click-through rate calculation. Click-through rate calculation takes data from the users number of clicks are considered as one in binary format and if the user does not click the ad it takes as zero through this we can know the interest of the average people on a particular ad uh, based on the project and the data set used for this project is avazu ctr data set which contains 11 days of click through data data uh, in 10 days it calculates training training samples and in one day it takes the whole samples by this we can know the ctr rate if the ctr rate is more it, it can be said as the uh, the product is performing very well it 
excuses uh, descend this random forest and, and concludes by regre regression. Regression is nothing but uh, event of output uh, takes in it takes in binary format zeros and ones. In conclusion, it is simple that we can know the interest of people and we can recommend them by using the relevant relevant ads related to the user. Thank you. Uh, the introduction of the project was sec surveillance security is very tedious and time consuming though. In this tutorial we will just discuss the bottom and the task of analyzing video surveillance. We will analyze the video feed in real time and identity. Any abnormal activities like violence or uh, in this uh, the main objective of this was to check the any abnormal event in some of the environments like ATM, uh, college corridors and somewhere. In this we have make a uh, train.py file and we have trained the data sets with uh, some of the test data sets and we have saved the model as save, save.nhx file and we use the model for predicting uh, the future uh, abnormal events. This is a Python project which helps to encode and decode of a message which created using Python and Tkinder base 64 library. First we have to enter a message like key is nothing but a password. Now we want to encode the message. The result of this message is some unknown language which is called chipper text. Now copy it. Copy this chipper text. Copy this and paste it in the message. Enter the key for the message. Now mode is decoded. Then result is... Thank you. Sarcasm detection with machine learning. So use machine learning to detect sarcasm. Here's our code and here is our output. Our code basically takes a text as an input and gives the output as its sarcasm or it's not a sarcasm. For example, we are giving a sentence as an input. Sarcasm we are giving a sentence as an input as a guy looks more handsome when he opens his barrel. It gives the output as it's a sarcasm. And we have the other examples here. I was depressed. He asked me to be happy. I am not depressed anymore. It's a sarcasm. You just saved my dog's life. Thanks a million. You know it's not a sarcasm. So that's our project and uh, it helps in voice assistance. If we develop it further and improve it towards voice rather than text, uh, it will help us to uh, improve Google Assistant. We have Google Assistant and Siri whose instructions need to be clear. If you want to uh, make anything out of them, we will need to instruct them clearly. But if we implement this into those, we will get a better performance. Now you can talk to Siri or Google like you are talking to your friends. So it will be a better application. That's it. That's our project. Thank you.